I graduated uh, from the University of Arizona with a bachelor's and master's degree in chemistry and was looking for a job and uh, a group of people came from uh, Hanford to interview in Tucson for some reason. I guess they're going around the country looking for young engineers and I interviewed with them. Uh, I had a couple of other choices and this just appealed to me so not knowing about what we were getting into we came to a totally different area. Well, uh, <laughs> When I started out, I was on a rotational training program. It was supposed to be a three-month, three rotations. One of them was out in one of the outlying areas doing kind of grunt work. <laughs> but then another one was in the um, 200 areas where we were, um, they were gathering uh, material from the trees and grass and trying to identify where the iodine-131 was blowing out of the stacks. And so we, uh, I was on a swing shift, and um, I'd work uh, on with. They bring this into the lab, and I was kind of in charge of a lab with a, a bunch of uh, almost all ladies who were digesting this material and uh, uh, and making solutions out of it, concentrating it. And then in the morning, they'd send it to labs for analysis to see what the concentration of I-131 was. And so I was kind of keeping track of that and running the lab and uh, and identifying the where it was taken and what areas were taken and when, for the samples that were sent to the, to the analysis lab. And um, then the next was in the, uh, in the chemical research area. And uh, it was kind of the situation where if they wanted you and you wanted them, that's where you could stay. And so that's where I ended up. I worked up. primarily on the preparation of plutonium compounds and reducing them to metal, to a little metal regulus uh, that weighed about 10 grams. And I had a couple of patents in, in that area on uh, preparation of plutonium fluoride compounds and reducing them to metal. And, and um, then, I, then I and I had a, about three invention reports that that didn't get patented. Uh, much of the stuff was in the secret literature. I have a whole bunch of publications. We uh, they were developing the second edition to the reactor handbook at that time, and I had been doing some work on plutonium and. Uh, so I have a byline on that in the handbook. Uh, some of my work is described, and then I have a footnote indicating that you know, I was participating in that part of it. I'm not sure when that was published. It was uh, sometime later, but they were they were getting that together. Um, we did did some work on uh, separation of plutonium and uranium by uh, by ion extraction, and. Uh, published a big report on that. There were about five of us working on that. In fact, the, the head of that organization that I worked for was working on that. And uh, I don't know whatever came of it. I don't think they ever used it, but it, um, it was another way of separating plutonium and, uh, and uranium and the fission products. Uh, what else did we do? Most of it was in that area. And I don't know, I must have had 15, I had probably 20 reports that I put out. Most of them secret. Uh, the two patents were not secret. It's surprisingly, I'm not quite sure why. And uh, we got a um, we got an award if you got a patent. They, we, they gave us one one share of GE stock for each patent. And on the invention reports, they 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 gave us uh, I don't know fifty dollars in cash or something like that. It was kind of funny, you know. It was in the winter time. Well, it was. I can't remember exactly when it was, but very cold and lots of snow. And they, the buses would pick us up from, they had uh, bus stops. He'd go out and get to the bus stop. Well, everybody stayed in their house at the last minute, you know, until they could run to the bus stop. So we had bets on, as we were in the waiting in the buses for the, see how many people would fall and slip. And, <laughs> and you know, we had a little pool going. Everybody put in a quarter, and we'd see if we could guess who was going <laughs> to slip for that week. <laughs> when we first came here, to regress, uh, there were about 15 of us, I guess, young guys that happened to come in the same day. They were all engineers or scientists, and and uh, we had an orientation downtown. So we went to the orientation, parked our cars, and went in and went through this three-hour orientation. And they told us about the secrecy and rules, and I, I did a whole bunch of stuff. Went out, and every one of us had a ticket on the car, and <laughs> we had to go down the next day and see some judge. So we got down there and we thought, yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, 
he got in and he's kind of a stern looking guy and he's talked to all of us and said, well you boys, you know, you parked in the wrong spot, you know, you're not supposed to do that. And he said, yes sir. <laughs> and so he talked to us a long time and he asked us, you know, do you have any money? Are you okay? doing okay? And a lot of them, I had, I had some money because I'd been on GI Bill and I'd saved some money and some of them said to you, we don't, you know, I've got a hundred dollars in my pocket. <laughs> And we went all through that, and we thought, Cali, he's, you know, he's, we're going to have to pay a big fine. And he said, in the end, he said, we are really proud to have you young man here. He said, uh, do a good job for us, and goodbye. And he let us go. <laughs>